Hey guys and welcome to a tip guide for wipe. Now Nikita, well not Nikita, Battlestate have just confirmed that there is a wipe with tw patch 12.11. So I'm just going to give you a few tips if it's been a while since we've had wipe. So whether you're a veteran and you just need a refresh of what you, you know, little things you could do to help at the beginning of wipe or you're a brand new player, hopefully there's a few tips in here for you. Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you find this guide useful. So to start off, you need to learn the maps in offline mode. So map knowledge in Tarkov is key. Knowing how to relocate, you can engage a team of people, relocate quick enough with your map knowledge and they can feel like they're getting attacked by two or three people, makes their comms go crazy. And then you could just end up taking them all out from two, all different directions when they think they're behind cover. They're actually not. It is really good to learn the maps. Also in offline mode, you can also turn on scavs as well as scab bosses. They have a hundred percent chance of spawning in offline mode when you turn them on. So if you'd like to find a way of farming the scab bosses, let's say killer, for instance, it's a pretty good way of training that. Also, if you're having issues with your tasks, do them at night. It's really, it's so much more easier when you do the tasks at night. During the day, all the chads are out finding their things. I must admit when if you've played Christmas and you have the Christmas bundle, you do actually get night vision with that Christmas bundle. So if you have the Christmas bundle, good job. You've also got night vision, which should definitely help you early game um, to progress through the maps. But even if you don't, still nighttime is definitely going to be a decent way, especially if you've got, especially as you have to go into dorms. There's a lot of tasks that means you go into dorms. So also, <clears throat> don't forget about your scav runs. Scav runs are absolutely key. The way that I do it is I have I do a PMC scab PMC scab PMC scab just don't forget about it when how the way the way that I work is with my PMC I try to do my tasks and then when it comes to my scavs I try to get stuff for my hideout now talking about hideout don't forget to save your hideout items in your container and your task items on your person the reason why I'm saying this is if you die Upgrading your hideout, it doesn't have to be find and raid, but most of your task items have to be find and raid. So there's no point sticking your task items up your bum. You might as well stick your hideout items up your bum because then you can actually craft with them. Talking about the hideout, level your hideout. It is a really great way to progress in your task when you need to find, ra find in raid items. So whenever you craft anything in your hideout or even find it in your lucky scav jump box, not like a scav jump box the scav case in your hideout it is classed as find and raid so you can actually put them on the flea market lavatory level two is definitely a great way to go same as the med station level one to get your slavers early game this is definitely a great way to do them you need to get your hideout sorted also when it comes to your hideout stashes are a great source of money i do have guides for every single one their stashes on Customs, Interchange, Woods, and Shoreline. There's 14 on Shoreline, by the way. There's about 25 on Customs. I will leave a link down below to all of the guides um, so you can check them out before the wipe hits. Also, talking about the stashes, don't forget about the barter trades. I will release a video saying, in my opinion, the best barter trades for all the level 1 traders, level 2 traders, level 3 tra and so on and so forth. Basically, to help you understand that there is actually some decent trades. Off the top of my head, Therapist, Tier 1, 2, Duct Tape for a car med kit. That's going to make a huge heap of difference early game. And definitely worth grabbing. Also, Armor, early game, helps you so much. Everyone, people don't have access to high, high penetration bullets unless they find them like BS or whatever. But most of the time, Armor, early game is definitely key because everything is high flesh. Yes, there is a lot more leg meta. And yes, you know, if you don't have a helmet then you're going to get one tapped anyway so make sure you bring armor early game it's definitely the way to go also organize your stash put your task items to one side your barter items to one side your hideout items to one side so they don't mix and match and you don't end up losing track there's a lot of resources online where you can track your 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 progression in the sense of what you need for your task so you can save it if you find something you can check it there's so many on there. Just Google it. There's plenty. Tarkov Market is a pretty good one as well. And plus, checking your flea markets on the flea market price on Tarkov Market. Definitely good early game. Also, I said it earlier in the video. 
don't forget about your christmas bundle also for the veterans who are going back to normality don't forget about your metabolism don't forget to eat and drink i will tell you right now i reset my account a few weeks ago and the amount of times when i'm halfway through into a raid and my guy is dying of dehydration or have no energy especially if you're popping painkillers that knocks everything down make sure you eat and drink everything just bear in mind be careful what you eat and drink and if you are going to eat and drink always eat before you drink because drinking anything won't reduce won't reduce your energy but eating stuff does reduce your hydration so make sure you eat before you drink if you are struggling with this task or just in general wanting to find people to play with head over to piranha.tv slash discord we do have a decently large looking for group community as well as a sherpa system so if you just need a bit more help than normal then we are there to help you hopefully you guys found this guide useful if you did don't forget to leave a like and subscribe or possibly consider joining the channel membership where you can unlock early videos as well as a few custom rewards don't forget to check out piranha.tv as well that's a one-stop shop for all of your guides tasks keys all those kind of things in one location hopefully you guys found this guide useful and i'll see you in the next video it's gonna say <laughs> hello yo please turn off your hacks, down, man. Yeah. i beg of you you dead yeah maybe we should see if we... oh yeah i was dead there is someone there dude